Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Davidson with Peachy, bringing to San Diego Design Week today the owner of Border X Brewing, David Favela. We're down here in Barrio Logan at the brewery. The X in the name stands for a crossing of cultures, including Hispanics, Blacks, men, women, LGBTQ, and other underrepresented populations and all the groups coming together. We want to talk about three things today with David. We're going to talk about the amazing way he expresses culture through beer. We'll talk about how he uses the space here for community activism and uplifting entrepreneurs. That's and we'll talk about the way that he is bringing in underrepresented communities through the Mujeres Brew Club. That's right. And other great things that you're doing. So I can't wait to talk more with you. Let's start with the beer. Yes. So it's not just an award-winning beer, by the way. So yeah. congratulations. Thank but you. <laughs> what you're doing here is actually expressing a culture and really storytelling through the beers. Talk Absolutely. to me about why that was important to you. Absolutely. When we first started making beer, we were making recipes that were coming from Europe. You know, uh, Irish Reds or a English Stout or a German Pilsner. And we thought, well, we're none of those things. We didn't grow up with those beers. We don't have that culture. We're, we're learning to appreciate it and the technology behind it and the tradition. But we're Mexican. And so we have our own palate. We love our own ingredients. And you know, we think that great food is food that connects with those, that palate, with that unique uh, neuron set in our brains that we developed growing up. And so we started with that, and our first beer was our Blood Saison, which is a play on Jamaica, which is a Mexican uh, uh, water or a drink that, they, that we've made forever. Yeah. And uh, when we first drank that, we said, oh my God, this is delicious, and it's a beer. And it was just this perfect fusion of culture and tradition from Europe and from our own experiences. And from that moment forward, we knew there was no looking back. Everything we were going to do, we were going to go to that treasure trove of culture to make things that were unique and different and fun. And uh, I think, you know, six years after the fact, I think we've come a long way. You really have. You've also opened up another brewery in L.A., so you've been successful yes. using this thinking so far connecting and growing absolutely and the second thing we learned when we opened up here in barrio logan is that the beer is obviously the the foundation but when you wrap it with a a deep cultural expression of the local neighborhood the local community if you start telling the stories that don't get told on a normal basis you start creating a, a real holistic experience around the customers and they feel it they walk in here immediately whether they're beer aficionado or here just starting for the first time and they are like, this isn't your average brewery. There's a lot going on and it's really cool. And so we wanted to test that by going to LA and seeing, does this also work in LA? And the answer is absolutely. We've been going gangbusters there. We opened up in March of 2019 and things have gone exceptionally well for us there. Doing the same thing, creating a space for the community to meet. What a great way to bring identity into a product. I love Absolutely. How you that. David, the other thing I love about what you're doing here is how you use the space. So here, you're not just serving beer. Yeah. That's not its only purpose, but you are bringing in the community. You're very active. You're supporting local entrepreneurs. I see the brewery on the news all of the time because of the events you're hosting. Can you tell us more about that? One of the key things that we focused on was how do we engage with the community? And when we came to Barrio Logan, one of the largest, most active communities was the artist community. And so we invited them in. For example, this work that you see behind us was done by a local artist. And on our walls, we're trying to tell the story about our community, its history, the key individuals that came from this community, and the stories that we felt needed to be told. And, uh, and then we engage with the musician uh, community here. Barrio Logan has a rich tradition of musicians. And we're able to invite them in and has, have a Thursday jazz night, have individual concerts with different artists from the area. And it was really, really incredible. You know, some of these events bring in folks who never would normally step into a brewery. And yet they're coming in now and they're having this incredible experience. And it, it really is, I think we're filling the need for a community space that is engaging, that is dynamic, that is active, and that is grounded in the community. It's, it's like what I like to tell people is we didn't create this space. We just built the space and we invited the community to fill it. Fill it with art, fill it with music, fill it with events. 
And then we would add in a few events of our own, like Chicano Con, which is a partner event to Comic Con. We hold it in July, usually about this time. And uh, we invite the community in. We give away free comic books to, to the children from the neighborhood. And we've even had famous uh, artists and directors like Guillermo del Toro come here for that event, which obviously blew our mind. Yeah, I haven't really seen a brewery engage the community the way you do. I think that's wonderful. The last thing I wanted to really highlight with you today is how you look for underrepresented populations and you bring them in. You've really built this culture of inclusivity. A specific example I'd love to hear more about would be the Mujeres Brew Club. Yeah. Can you share more about that? Yes, so the Mujeres Brew Club really started in the beginning of 2019. My wife and I were looking through some of the demographic data about who are our customers, what are they looking for, and we found out that nearly 60% of our followers were female. And we reflected on that. We said, well, why is that? And more importantly, what else could we do to make their experience even better? And so we said, well, why not start a Mujeres Brew Club, a women's brew club? You know, open to all, but focused on uh, the, the female palate, the female tradition. And pretty soon, my wife was calling uh, Estela de Avila, who's a, a, a podcaster here in San Diego, she, about beer. It's called The Indie Show. And uh, she loved the idea. She grew up in Barrio Logan. She's big on the craft beer scene. And once those two minds connected, it was electric. I mean, the whole thing really took off. We, uh, we said, if we can get 20 people to show up, that would be success with the first event. We had over 60 people show up that first day and prepay, and many of them prepaid for the remainder of the program. So we had a six month program where the club would invite industry professionals in to explain the history of brewing, the ingredients in the brewing process, the brewing process itself, different types of glassware, um, just wonderful, wonderful events. And then of course, we'd always do a tasting at the end through an invited brewery who would bring their beer and talk about why they make the beer that they do. And so we gave the women in the club this incredible perspective of they're not just drinking a nice tasting beverage, but they're actually imbibing into that culture of craft brewing. And I think once they got into that, they really, really appreciated it. The whole thing culminated with them making their own beer, which I think as a cornerstone was phenomenal. They, uh, they all came here, they saw how the beer was made, they got their, you know, they rolled up their sleeves, they started putting in the grain into the, the machines and milling and doing all the different steps. And then the day we kegged it, they brought all their families, all their friends, and they said, look, I made this beer. And to hear them and see that look of pride in their face was just phenomenal. And so since then, we've expanded the club up to Los Angeles. And the biggest news is we've now launched the only women's uh, brew house that we know of in the California and possibly the US. And the idea behind that is to give a space to this club so that they can continue to do the things that they've been doing, which is educating consumers, um, bringing in profession, industry professionals to teach them the mechanics of brewing and the more advanced topics. Because one of the things that resulted from this whole project is some women got jobs at other breweries. And that really became, I think, uh, the cherry on top. We were so excited that we saw an opportunity to serve an underserved community, to teach them more so they can enjoy the experience more. But thirdly, to help them join the industry and add their voice, their palate to this wonderful industry called craft brewing. Wow, David, my mind is blown. You guys are incredible. I mean, you're taking the experience here far, far beyond drinking a great beer yeah. in a cool environment. Exactly. You've really reached new levels. This is something I yeah. think is a great takeaway here for designers, for small businesses, and it's this. It's that what you've done yeah. is really designed intention through everything. Not a great message, right? That's a sort of overly curated message or um, just a well-branded environment. Yeah. But you've given people um, you know, a voice in your intention in everything from ex the expression of your beer, right? And the culture in it. Mm -hmm. And the way you use the space to uplift the community yeah. and bring positive energy and then how you are reaching these underrepresented populations 
Mm -hmm. building this inclusive culture here. Yeah. I think what you've done is really create more than a brewery experience, but it's it's a celebration of peoples. Absolutely. Uh, and you know that is for San Diego as uh, something that we can be all very proud of to have part of our San Diego experience. Absolutely. And I think the great thing about it is we're not just doing this for quality or, or anything like that. We believe diversity is delicious. Diversity can be awesome. Diversity brings different voices and perspective and flavors to the mix. And we're all better off, right? And so that's why we're really excited about doing the things that we do. And I'd say one last thing, which is for any designers out there thinking about, you know, how do I create something? I can tell you this, be aware, pay attention to what's going on in your space and try to tap into those things that are naturally forming, right? Energies. You know, and, uh, and we've done that since we've been in Barrio Logan, and it's been a blessing because I, I like to joke that there is no way I could have conceived a business plan that would have encompassed all the different things that we ended up doing yeah, yeah. and that at the end proved to be the big differentiator between us and other companies is paying attention. That's way beyond a business plan out there. So much to learn. David, always you are true to your slogan. Thank community, you. culture, and craft. I'd high five you if it wasn't COVID. <laughs> <laughs> but um, thanks for being here. Thank you to the community for listening. And I hope you enjoyed talking to David. Please come down to Barrio Logan and check out Border X. Check him out online. Uh, it's a great place to be. Thank you, David. Thank you.